Welcome to the Oasis. My name is Mike and today we're going to be talking about cyber shoes. Now as you'll know if you checked out my Gamescom VR roundup video I checked out loads of VR accessories and games whilst at Gamescom. Now one of those was cyber shoes and I promise you guys and girls I'd talk about cyber shoes in a bit more detail in a future video and that video is going to be this one today. So today we're going to be talking about cyber shoes, how it came about, what my hands on impressions were and ultimately will it be worth your time and money and when you can get your hands on it yourself. Self. So I hope you guys and girls enjoy this one and without further ado, let's dive in. So before we get into the video, full disclosure, Cybershoes sponsored my trip to Gamescom so I could go and check out their product. Now, just to be clear, I'll always be clear with you guys and girls when I'm sponsored to go to an event or I receive free hardware, and I'll always give you my honest opinion. I just want to get that out there because I think it's important you know so you can form your own opinion. So now let's get into it. About three years ago, Cybershoes creator Michael Beaglemeyer started to develop a solution to solve the problem of locomotion in virtual reality. Now, Michael wasn't convinced that using a controller was the best option to control movement in VR, so he started to develop concepts. Now, initially he started working on a standing solution until he finally settled on a seated design which used a pair of shoes that track your feet's movements. This is where the idea of cyber shoes was born. Since then, the Vienna-based developers have been refining the concept up to the prototypes you see in this video. Now, the complete solution uses a pair of cyber shoes, a 360 swivel chair, and a lamp stand from IKEA to deal with the cable management. You simply wear the cyber shoes underneath your regular shoes or trainers, and they're fixed in place using snowboard style straps. Underneath the hard plastic sole is a roller so you can slide your feet along the floor while seated to mimic the movement of walking or running. Each of these soles contains a battery with enough power to use the cyber shoes for about eight to 10 hours and they can easily be recharged after long sessions using a micro USB cable. The shoes wirelessly send movement data to your PC using a low latency radio frequency connection. They had two versions of the cyber shoes at the show. The model that I'm showing you now is the older model of the two. The newer second generation design places the roller further forward to the front of the toe, which felt far more natural and comfortable. So the idea is essentially when you slide your feet across the floor, that movement is represented in game without any noticeable latency, adding to the game's immersion and keeping the player active. So before heading to Gamescom, I was super skeptical, but I'd never tried an accessory like cyber shoes before, and I'd never really tried any VR treadmills. So during my hands-on time with cyber shoes, I tried three demos, Minecraft, Skyrim, and Doom VFR. In Skyrim, the walking pace just felt a bit slow for my liking, although I've been informed since then that you can tweak this uh, easily yourself. However, playing Doom VFR felt great, and I mean like really great. Sliding the cyber shoes across the floor while seated did feel a little bit alien at first, however I quickly got immersed into the experience and before you knew it I was spinning around 360 and running around in game fragging some demons. Playing Doom VFR with cyber shoes really felt like it added a layer of immersion to the game. Running around felt like it was at a good pace and I didn't notice any latency between my movements in the real world and in the game. Using something like cyber shoes won't be ideal for some games. Games like Onward, where you need to crouch at times, just won't really be suitable. However, games like Skyrim or Fallout, where you've got these vast landscapes that you can just go and explore, walking around those worlds will be an exciting prospect for some. For me, the experience of playing Doom VFR was great and actually makes me want to replay the whole game once I get my hands on some of the final production versions of the cyber shoes. I'd also like to try out Arizona Sunshine, Rec Room, Torn and VR chat. I'd also love to know what games you'd like to try them out on. Just chuck them in the comments down below. Here's some clips from an interview that I did with a developer, Michael. Hi, I'm Michael from Cyber Shoes and we are happy to be here at Gamescom first time presenting our innovative hardware being nominated for best hardware. It's a big honor for us. It's so cool being somewhere else. It's so awesome, but soon I realized that this big virtual reality world, you cannot access it because your living room, your reality is limiting it. So coming up with a way how to walk in place was the, was the way to go. After two years experimenting, we throw away all this equipment and we sat down and then it was just easy. And the thing is when you're in VR, 
and your legs are moving for the brain, it seems not to make such a big difference whether you're sat down or not. So here's my conclusion. I was super skeptical about cyber shoes at first, but I was pleasantly surprised about how well they actually worked. When I compare it to my experience using the Omni directional treadmill, the Omni felt bulky and cumbersome in comparison. I like that the cyber shoes can easily be moved and cleaned away to clear an area, because let's be honest about it, who really has a space in their home for a huge treadmill? So who was this really aimed at? Who is it for? Well, I think it's aimed at the people who like the idea of a treadmill, but don't have the money or space for it and those who are looking to be more active and more immersed during their gaming sessions. Just like using a treadmill though, you are going to be using your body to move, so you will likely get more tired, but I can actually see this being a benefit for those who want to be a bit more active whilst playing games. There's a real movement of players that want to be more active in VR and playing games like Beat Saber and Box VR to lose a little bit of weight. And this is a great solution for that, playing your favorite games such as Skyrim or Fallout. Some will say sitting down and moving your feet to move in game isn't a natural way to move. And that's true, but then neither is sliding your feet around a dish on a treadmill. And that's pretty much the way that the Cat VR and the Omni work. The only treadmill I know of that doesn't use a dish is the Infinidec, and that's gonna set you back tens of thousands of dollars. If you've got a Vive or a Windows MR headset, you won't have any issues with tracking using the cyber shoes. However, if you're an Oculus Rift user, you will need a well-optimized two sensor setup or ideally three sensors to get the best out of the experience. Cyber shoes are fully compatible with Steam VR. However, at the time of this video, it's not fully optimized with Oculus Home yet. However, the developers are striving to have this ready for when the Kickstarter launches. Overall, I think CyberShoes is an interesting product that will appeal to some who want to add another layer of immersion to their favorite games and those who want to be a bit more active whilst gaming without having to spend large sums of money on a treadmill. The developers are looking to launch CyberShoes via Kickstarter at the end of September to early October and estimate the early bird price for the shoes will just be around $200. If you want the 360 swivel chair and the cable management solution, they will likely include them in a higher price bundle or provide external links to them so you can buy them separately yourself. I've managed to source them and I've put some links in the description if you're interested in checking them out. Okay guys and girls, so there we have it. That's my video on Cyber Shoes. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this one. I just want to say quickly thanks to Cyber Shoes for sponsoring my trip to Gamescom. Without them, the trip there just wouldn't have been possible. I wouldn't have been able to check out all those awesome VR experiences and games and ultimately wouldn't have been able to share that with you guys and girls. So I hope you guys and girls understand. But just to be clear, again, I'll always be upfront and honest with you when something like this happens. So, you know, you can form your own ideas and opinions yourself. So let me know what you think of Cyber Shoes in the comments down below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Are you interested in it? Are you not interested in it? Would you prefer to go out and buy like an Omni or some sort of huge catwalk treadmill? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you've got any questions about Cyber Shoes, then please put them in there too. And I'll try my best to answer as many questions as I can. So I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this one. Leave a like if you did. Make sure you're subscribed for all my future content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.